This story, as told by Okopa Toby, is from Kereganavi Village, Henganofi District, Eastern Highlands Province. The Legend of the Monster Blood River, Totiwara Once upon a time, there lived two brothers. The older brother was called Toti, and his younger brother was called Ogona. One day, the two brothers decided to go hunting. They took their ati and kere and left early in the morning. They crossed the small creek by their home and climbed up the side of the mountain and down into a valley where their hunting grounds were. Toti saw a cuscus up a high tree. Toti said, Ogona! You stay on the ground to catch the cuscus. If he jumps out of the tree, and I'll climb up the tree and try and catch him. So Toti climbed up the tree, higher and higher as he followed the cuscus. All of a sudden, there was a loud cracking sound as the thin branch broke that Toti was standing on. Poor Toti crashed to the ground and died. Ogona looked at his dead brother and quickly ran back to the village to let everyone know. In the mountain, there lived a Masilai called Kekofabo. Kekofabo heard the loud cracking noise of the broken branch and hurried towards it. He was very happy to see Toti's body on the ground and prepared to eat him. Then, he heard a noise behind him. He swung around and saw his wife Minea. Keiko Fabo was angry because he was hoping to eat Toti all by himself. Keiko Fabo said, I never eat your food! Go away! He ate Toti all by himself and sang, I will tell the village people that you ate Tati, Mineya said. His stomach was so large that he couldn't move and was soon asleep under the broken branch. Ogana had raised the alarm and all the village men took their spears and hurried to where Tati had died. When they arrived, they saw Keiko Fabi asleep under the broken branch. The village men saw that Toti had been eaten, so they collected dead branches and leaves and covered Keiko Fabi's sleeping body. They sang as they threw the branches and leaves over the muscleized body. They set fire to the branches and leaves and sang about Keiko Fabi. The greedy Masalai was unable to get out from under the burning branches. Finally, there were only the ashes of the Masalai and all the men returned to their village. 
when they reached the small creek next to their village, they were very surprised to see that it was now a large river with gushing brown water. The men decided to build two villages on either side of the new river that they called Totiwara River. <laughs>